Is global warming a scam? On today's episode, we're going to present you data that proves that the people that are making the loudest noise around global warming are actually planning short, medium and long-term efforts that will increase greenhouse gases. So whether global warming is a scam or not, we don't know because there's a lot of confusion. But I'm going to pose as a free thinker a couple of questions and scenarios and you can process this with me and make up your own mind. Let's get into the data. Number one, if the oceans are rapidly rising, ice sheets are shrinking, glaciers are retreating, snow cover is decreasing, sea levels are rising, and it's this whole big tragedy, why do banks keep lending money, millions upon billions upon trillions of dollars and other currencies for beachfront properties? If it's that bad, why do they still invest their money and say, it's okay, no problem. Here's X amount of money, buy a house on the beach. No problem. You can get a 30-year lease on a beachfront property from a world-leading bank. Makes no sense, does it? The leader of the free world, Joe Biden, has a controversial, has approved a controversial venture called the Willow Project. The project has faced opposition from environmental groups who argue it will add to planet warming carbon pollution to the value of 9.2 million metric tons of planet warming carbon pollution per year, equivalent to 2 million gas-powered cars on the roads. Yet, it was signed off and the project is kicking off. Does that make any sense to you? Doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe it does to you. Number three, the massive massive push for electrification and electric cars yet we don't have a safe way to dispose of the toxic batteries that are required to run these vehicles these evs does that make any sense to you disposed in soil dumps are these batteries what do you think this happens to the soil and the underground rivers and that whole ecosystem where these batteries are disposed currently. That's where our food comes from. So in closing, three problems need to be solved and the link between the three needs to be aligned. The three are determining the average earth temperature, measuring greenhouse gas concentration and predicting climate change. Now unfortunately for us, there are no computers currently in existence that can predict the temperature of the earth past 100 years. doesn't exist. We can't do it. So what we're saying is we're not with or against global warming movements. What we're saying is everything on our planet needs to be treated with respect. Whether you're looking at the oceans, the soil, plants, birds, humans, animals that roam free need to be treated with respect. And we're also pleading with the people that are going to watch this episode. Don't just take everything from the media as truth and correct, because the media is a machine. Be a free thinker. Question. Ask. If you're passionate about the subject and you care, ask and get different people's perspective. Because what's right for me is perhaps not right for you. But in a logical conversation, you know, logic should be the truth. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. Hope you have a fantastic day. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.